Hey, what's up everyone? So in the last episode, we were able to write uh, the JSX for our cart and we were able to display our cart items on the UI. Now in this episode, I want us to make our cart look beautiful using CSS. So I'll just uh, dive right into my VS code and I'll open up .css because this is where we are including all our CSS for our a simple online shop here and then I'll minimize these and I can split the editor right here so that I can be able to view the cut uh, right here and also my CSS so you'll be able to see the different uh, elements that we will be selecting using our CSS so right here I'll just add a comment and I'll say cut and then I'll start by selecting the cut container right here. So I'll say dot cut hyphen container. And all we will do for this is to add some padding. Top and bottom will be 2rem. Left and right will be 4rem. And then let's select our H2 here. So we'll say dot cut container H2 and we'll give this a font weight of 400 we'll increase its font size to 30 px and we'll align it to the center using text align of center i'll save that file and we can preview that small change to make sure that it's working so we have some padding now and this is at the center. Now let's work on our titles here. So right here, I'll select the titles, I'll say cut container and then dot titles. Uh, what I'll do here, I'll add some margin uh, for the titles and margin top will be 2 rem, uh, margin right will be 0, margin bottom will be 1 rem and then left will be zero so that is the margin for the titles and right here i want to select the h3 for the titles so i'll say cut containers dot titles and then i'll say h3 so this is not supposed to be a comma here and for the h3 for our titles um i'll decrease the font size actually for this to 14 px and then uh, we'll change the font weight to 400 and we'll transform the text to uppercase so I'll say text transform to uppercase just like that so the titles are right here we'll get back to this later on when the cart is empty but right now we are styling our titles and the h3s right there okay so let's see what we have just to make sure it's working and now we have transformed our titles and now we need to arrange them nicely using css grid but for that we'll also do the same for our cut item okay so what we will do we will select um, the cut item and the titles so right here i'll say dot cut hyphen item i'll use a comma and then i'll select the titles i'll say dot cut container and then dot titles and we'll add the stylings for both of them so we want to make the cut titles here to be a grid container as well as our cut item right here and our cut item will include the product it will include the price the quantity and also the total price so let's do that right now so we'll make them to be uh, grid containers using display of grid and then uh, we will align the items to the center and we can uh, place some grid template columns so right here i'll say grid template columns so the first column 
uh, will be big because it holds our product so for this one we will say 3 fr meaning fraction and then the second one will be 1 fr the third one 1 fr the fourth one 1 fr so basically this will be a bigger column than the rest okay so that is what that uh, means and then we can give some column gap of about 0 0.5 rem so that uh, if uh, they are too much content then uh, there will be some spacing between our columns so let's see if we, there is a change and now look what we have for this product we have the image and then we have the details right at the bottom right here and this is the product the price is this one the quantity is this one and the total is this one so you can see we have like nicely arranged them using css grid we make them a grid container and then we use grid template columns this is big this is one fr one fr one fr let's start uh, styling our cut item right here i'll select dot cut item and i'll give it a border to the top so i'll say border top of one uh, px solid so this will simply create a line and then i give it a cara rgb i'll say 187 187 and 1 87 so that is a gray color like right there for the border and then i'll add some padding top and bottom of one rem so that if we have more than one product then we'll have some nice spacing between our uh, product or cut items okay and then now right here i'll select the product title and give it uh, some padding left okay so let me show you I'll select this and give it some padding left so that it's nicely positioned. So right here, I'll say dot cut container, and then I'll say dot titles, and then I'll say dot product uh, hyphen title. So this class name is this one right here. And for this, I'll simply give it uh, a padding hyphen left of about 0 0.5 rem. Okay. And then um, I'll select the total right here. So I'll say uh, dot cut container dot titles. And then I'll say dot total. And for the total, I'll add padding uh, to the right of 0 0.5 frame and I'll justify it to the right. So I'll say justify self and I'll say uh, right. So this will push it to the right. And since CSS is uh, case sensitive, I should change this to small cap, the quantity there. Now I want to select the cut product right here and add some styling to it. So if we check at it right now, uh, you can see we have the image here and we have the details right here. So I want them to be side by side. Therefore, I'll select it individually and style it. Now you can see we added a line here and we pushed this total to the left and the product is now having some spacing right there. And this is actually starting to come along. Let's select the product and it will look much better. So right here, I'll say dot cut uh, item. And then I'll say dot cut hyphen product. And all we'll do, we'll add a display of flex. So you can see you can use a uh, flex box inside css grid okay because right here you have display of grid and right here display of flex so there is no issue with that 
Now this will make them to be side by side because uh, a display of flex uh, by default will make uh, the flex direction to be in a row. So we have the image here and now the details of our product right here. So let's select each of these and uh, style them individually. So I'll start with the image. So I'll say dot cut item and then dot cut product img and we'll set its width to be about 100 px and for responsiveness we'll say max hyphen width to be 100 percent and then I'll say margin right to be one rem. So that we have some spacing between the image and our uh, product details. Now let's select the H3 for our cut product. So I'll say the cut item here and then cut product and I'll select H3. And for the H3, uh, I'll simply change the font weight. So I'll set the font weight to be 400. And then I can select the button for removing the product from cut. So right here I'll say dot cut item. Um, and then I'll say dot cut product. And I select the button. So for the button, we want it to be very simple. I remove the border. I will remove the outline and then I'll set margin top for this of 0.7 rem and right here I'll change the cursor to pointer and then I'll change the background color uh, actually what we'll do we'll just remove the background and we'll change the color for this one to gray just like that and we can preview this so we have styled the image and then we have styled the h3 this one and the button so let's see what we have now look this looks way much better okay so we have the small image we have the title we have a brief description and we have a button so later on we'll add functionality to this button so that we can be able to remove the product from cart whenever we click it so i'll select this button and add some hover effect and then we'll move on to the uh the product quantity right here so that we can sell the buttons and then we'll move on to the rest okay so and i'll say dot cut item and dot cut product we select the button and I'll, I'll add hover effect using the hover pseudo selector and all we will do is to change the color to black like that so now when you hover over that button it changes the color to black and at least you'll see some change okay okay now i'll select the cut product quantity so right here i'll say dot cut uh, hyphen product hyphen quantity and for this one uh where is it we have it right here cut product quantity we have a button, we have the quantity itself, and we have another button. So right now they are in column, if I check at these, and we want them to be side by side, therefore I'll use Flexbox. So right here I'll add a display of Flex. And then I'll align the items uh, to Flex Start and I'll justify the content to center. I'll add a width of about 130px. And then I'll add a max width of 100% for responsiveness. And 
then uh, I'll add a border around it so I'll say border to be 0 0.5 px solid and I'll give this a color of 177 177 and 177 so this is supposed to be a comma like that and also we'll add a border radius to remove the sharp corners so i'll add a border radius of 5px let's see what we have so this is it for our quantity now let's select the button and add some styling to the button themselves so right here i'll say dot cut product quantity we select the button and for the button we will remove the border so i'll set border to none we will remove the outline and then we will remove the background and then uh, i'll add padding to this one of 0 0.7 rem and 1.5 rem and i'll change the cursor to pointer so that will tell us that we are hovering over a button i'll save that and now look nice so our button now are nicely styled let's style this account right here so we'll select it i'll say dot cut uh, hyphen product quantity and then dot count and all we will do for this is to add padding to it and we'll add padding top and bottom of 0 0.7 rem left and right of zero i'll save that and now this should be at the center there we go so look at our button we have the count and some button to increase and decrease the count and we'll add functionality to this one later on okay for now we are just making them to look a bit much better let's tell this price so you can see we have title here but the price is here so at least we can push it to the end here and make it bold so i'll come back right here and we will select it we will say dot cut hyphen product this one product total price hyphen total hyphen price and for this um i'll justify self to the right and uh, I'll add some padding right of 0 0.5 rem and I'll change the font weight to 700 therefore it will be bold I will save that and now the place is on this side and it's bold so it nicely aligned with our heading there so we have nicely uh, designed our cut item and now i think we can move on to cut summary right here and add some styling to it let's do that so right here we can add a comment of cut uh, summary and then uh, i'll select the cut summary itself so i'll say so we are selecting this cut summary and for the cut summary we have two items uh, in it so we have the button and we have the checkout uh, right there i want this button uh, clear cut to be on the left and then i want this one to be on the right so what we will do right here uh, we will simply add a display of flex to make that to be a flex container and by default flex uh, direction will be in a row and then 
will justify the content to be spaced between and uh, for the cut summary we'll add a border to the top and also some padding to the top so that we have na some nice space so right here uh, first of all i'll align the items to be at flex start and then i'll add a border of one px solid and then i'll say rgb one 87 187 187 that is the border top and then i'll add padding uh, to the top actually we didn't say border top here this should be border top and then i include the semicolon here and then right here you can add some padding uh, to the top as well of two prime I will save that and now this should look much better so we added this border top and some padding to it and then we now have this clear cut on this side and we have the checkout uh, right here now let's uh, select this clear cut and style it nicely so we gave it a class of uh, a class name of clear cut so right here i can say dot cut hyphen summary and then we say dot clear hyphen cut so uh, for this one we will set the width to be one that px max width to be a hundred percent I'll set a height for this one to be about 40 px and then uh, we'll add border radius to it of 5 px. We'll change its uh, font weight to 400 and we'll add some letter spacing to it so letter spacing of about 1.1 5 px and then let's add a border around it so i'll say border and this will be 0 uh, 0.5 actually um it will be almost the same as this one so what i'll do i'll duplicate this and then i'll move this one to the bottom right here So I'm just trying to make my work easier right here. I remove the top there and for px I'll say 0 0.5 px and then it will be solid. I'll say 177 and this one 177. So we have the border right there. I'll set the color for our text to gray and then I remove the background. I remove the outline and finally I'll set the cursor to pointer just like that so this is our clear cut button right there there we go this is much better now finally we are going to style this so I'll select cut checkout right here I'll say dot cut hyphen checkout and we'll add a width to this of about 270 px and i'll set the max width to 100 percent for responsiveness now let's select the subtotal so remember for the subtotal we added two spans so we can be able to also separate them using flexbox so right here i can say dot cut checkout and i select the sub total and all we will do for this one is to add a display of flex and then we justify the content to be spaced between and we increase the font size for these 
to 20 px nice now we will select the amount and make it bold so right here i'll say dot uh, cut checkout and then dot subtotal and then dot amount and for this one we'll change the font weight to 700 so that it's bold and then we can select the p tag right here so i'll say dot cut checkout i'll select the p tag i'll decrease its font size to 14 px and then we will set uh, and then we'll decrease its font weight to 200 default is 400 and then we'll set the margin for this one to be 0 0.5 frame top and bottom and then left and right to be zero and now we can style the button for our checkout right here so i'll say dot cut uh, checkout button and i think this will be similar to this one this one right here so i think we can copy the style for that and just use it right here okay so i'll go and check for our product uh, add to cut button here we have it so what i will do i will copy this and then i'll move to the very bottom and paste it here so we'll have a width of 100 percent height of 40x border radius of 50x um, margin top so i think we can remove this one uh, font weight of 400 uh, we'll have some letter spacing border none outline none uh, pointer background and color so i think this is fine i'll save this file and preview what we have ah much better so we had this subtotal we separated it with flexbox with our place there then we have our text right there and our button to check out now we can style this one continue shopping and the styling for continue shopping will be similar to our start shopping as styling so right here we have continue shopping and then at the top here we had start shopping right this one so we can style both of them uh at the same time because they'll have the same stylings i just give them different class names so that they make sense okay so right here i can say dot uh, continue shopping i use a comma and then i will say dot start shopping and we'll give them margin top of one rem of one rem and then we'll select the a tags so whenever we use a link then a tag is automatically added so we'll say dot continue shopping dot start shopping and then we select a also right here we should say dot continue shopping a okay and then right here we'll change the color to gray we will set text decoration to none uh, so that uh, we remove the line we will add a display of flex so remember we have an arrow and some text so we can align them nicely using flex box so right here you'll say display of flex okay and then um, we'll align the items to the center 
uh, just like that and then let's select the span so right here i'll say dot continue shopping a span and then we've said dot start shopping a span and all we'll do we'll add some margin left to this one of 0 0.5 rem so that will do it let's see there we go now we have a, a nice continue shopping right there for us to work with and when i click it we get back right here awesome now there is one thing that uh, we are not uh, styling and that is when our cart is empty so let me inspect this and when i clear the cart by deleting the local storage we'll be able to see uh, what we have when our cart is empty so i'll go to application and then i'll clear on the local storage i will refresh to clear the state and this is what we have when the cart is empty so we should at least bring this to the center so right here i'll say dot cart empty and we'll increase the font size to about 20px we'll set margin to the top to be 2 rem and then uh, let's change the color to rgb and then i'll say 84 84 84 and now right here we'll add a display of flex we'll add the flex direction to be column and we will align the items to the center there we go i think this is all we need and when we check it there we have it your cart is currently empty start shopping when i click start shopping then we get our products when we add a product galaxy s it's added to cart nicely we have galaxy s added to cart and we can see the details right there very nice so we have successfully styled our cart and i'm happy with the results so i think this video was a bit wrong but thank you for sticking around with me now the good thing is that from now on we'll simply add functionalities uh, to our different buttons right here so we'll be able to remove an item from cart we'll be able to decrease the quantity increase the quantity and then right here we have the total so we have already calculated the total and the subtotal here will be able to uh, calculate it will be able to clear the cut so that is all that remains and uh, i think that is really nice so let's try to add galaxy s again it's added to cut they are two now and the price here increases by two because they are two items and this is awesome so uh, in the next video uh, we will see how we can remove a product from cut.